Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I've got more TF2 commentary. As you can already see, we start off with a quite an intense situation there because we actually were getting spawn killed, which is, you know, always something that happens, especially on this map when you just start the map at the uh, very beginning because there's a lot of demos and soldiers just trying to blow your face off. And what I'm trying to do as a scout here, which is a tactic, uh, a tactic that I use quite often, especially when I'm a scout and I get stuck at spawn, I basically try to use my agility as well as double jumps or perhaps triple jumps if you use the atomizer of course, which I'm not using. But I tend to use those then to get behind enemy lines and try to distract and let people chase me. So my team faces lo a lot less resistance. And it wasn't super effective this time because only two scouts chased me down, with, but it still means that two people were away from trying to prevent my team from pushing up to the first point as we are doing it. Just trying to cap it, just trying to get away from those rockets as well. Trying to do some harassment with my pistol, not extremely effective, but you know, every single li little bit helps. And if you are wondering where this was recorded, it's recorded on the Reddit Europe server. I usually record in the Reddit East Coast server, but I just happen to have this very, very fun gameplay, for me at least, uh, on the Reddit Europe server. So. I also recognized quite a bit of regular names, at least for me. I do, I do play on weird times, so they may not be regulars for you. But if you do play a lot on the Reddit Europe server, you might be able to see yourself as well. So keep an eye out for that. And we're just I'm just trying to you know pick people up that are trying to use the same tactic that I uh, you know applied as a scout. Because as you can see, the demo man was trying to get all the way to spawn. Perhaps to spawn kill? I'm not entirely sure what his plan was. But it sure as hell tried to um, well distract my team from pushing up the second. And you do have to push up the second, and it does get a bit awkwardly at the third point, but we'll get there when we have taken second, before I touch that subject. Uh, something that I do want to point out is, you probably saw it in my previous video, which was the Pyre Bro video if you like. Uh, death comments. I usually dislike dying quite a bit, and you know, these almost die here as well, so close call. Otherwise there would have been another death comment, but... Um, if you have seen my previous video, like I was saying, you might have noticed that I, I'm adding comments to my deaths. Like, there's a still image when you die, right? I'm going to add comments to that uh, to make my dying experience seem less of a gameplay waste. You know what I mean? And on top of that, if something extraordinary happens or, you know, something funny like a flying pyro, then I'll probably add some tracking text to that as well. So let me know what you think about that and you probably will see that in this video as well. So, don't hold your breath. Um, or per perhaps you should, I don't know. I don't think you should have, but because by the looks of it, I only will die twice this video, so not too bad, considering this is a Reddit Europe server, and in my experience, especially when there are a lot of clans or uh, people with tags, it tends to be very uh, difficult to stay alive quite often. Also, trying to save my heavy here, and Phil, he does get... Taunt killed, I believe. Yeah, he does get taunt killed. Indeed, I saw. I was looking at the, uh, of course, the uh, kill feed, because I thought I had him, and I just prevented the. the uh, I just happened to taunt, but I prevented the damage. Unfortunately, I wasn't fast enough. Also, dire because of the stickies, which is unfortunate. And stickies have been annoying me quite hard recently, especially when I'm playing a scout. It seems they that the demo mans are popping up uh, everywhere right now. It's either I never really noticed them or the demo mans are either increasing in numbers or becoming more skilled or I just start to suck a little bit more, I don't know. But they have, I have my most, like, the main devs that I have when I play Team Fortress 2 these days are because of stickies. And I'll probably have to find a way to get around that, especially when I uh, can't respond or react properly to them when they try to explode them in mid-air, which is very obnoxious, but it is the way it's meant to do. Um, also here, I'm trying to get inside, I'm trying to find an opening, and this is where the problem of me not knowing the map entirely to the, um, or not playing this map quite often, because if you look at the left side, like the left high ground has an entrance to the high ground over the third point, and I kind of realized that a little bit too late, especially as a scout, so that was completely my bad and a completely stupid mistake. But it does, um, it does help me when I actually get there, when the sentry goes down as well. Because the reason why I also can't really push up, besides the increasing amount of enemy teams or uh, enemy members here trying to spam us back, which seems to be very successful, is because they have a sentry on a very, very awkward position. I can't really push up 
and I can't really take it out myself, so I'm waiting for demos and soldiers, possibly with an Uber, to, you know, get that sentry down, because one of the things that I really dislike as a scout are, of course, sentries. You can't really do anything against them, especially when they are positioned in such a place where you can't really get around them, and this map doesn't really have that many alternative routes at this stage of the game but then every map has that problem especially when you are entering at the last point or the last capture place for the bomb if you're playing payload and such and right now I'm just trying to harass trying to help my team getting those members down a little bit more easier you know trying to soft them up and right now I'm also trying to make the jumps here sometimes I fail at the jumps here which is st stupid I understand that that's just completely Something that should not happen, especially when one of the main classes I play, of course, is a scout. And as you can see right here, I'm trying to find a way to that last point, trying to make something happen. See if that sentry is down. The sentry seems to be down at this stage, trying to do some harassment, get caught by the pyro in close quarter combat. So I make my way out, trying to not die of afterburn or trying to get a crit, because he was trying to get some crits on me when he uh, basically had ignited me. As you can see here right as well, trying to make something happen, but... I decided that it probably would have been better to stick around to, you know, lure him out and possibly, you know, get let him get caught by either the, the, the heavy or, of course, the soldier, assuming the soldier didn't just start launching rockets at his face, which then could air blast into my face, because that is something I really dislike as well, especially when I'm getting a little bit more into pyro these days as well, if you might have noticed. Like, tr seeing people air blasting rockets into my face when you know the Pyro knows you're there and he's ready to air blast any rocket, it just gets really obnoxious. And once again, the uh, sentry, I believe, right there is up again. And I can't, which means I basically can't push up. I can't get to that last point and do my scouting, you know, with the double capture rate. I'm trying to make something happen. Seeing a sniper as well, which makes me freak you know, freak the hell out. Because once I get to that specific point, it's very easy to get a headshot on me. Especially as a scout, because you pretty much know how I'm going to react in that doorway. Especially if you are a somewhat decent sniper. You know, basically, the the way I'm going to jump or the way that I'm going to move about. Trying to get through that doorway, trying to make something happen. And as you can see, we're trying to hold them back. We are getting some people on the point, including myself, trying to get that capture rate going. We're almost going to win this game here, so this means... We are at the end of the video, basically, that, that is what it means, so make sure to subscribe if you want to see more, especially if you want to see the other part of this video, part 2 if you like, and I will catch you guys next time.